You would have clicked on this video because you want to find a way to grow your portfolio exponentially more than what you're doing right now. You might have found that now your portfolio is stagnant, it's not growing, interest rate is high, you're not getting the cash flow, you're stretched, you're negative, you want to move forward, but you simply don't know how, where, and what to look for. As a result of that, what you have now is a portfolio that either doesn't give you growth, doesn't give you cash flow, and certainly doesn't have uplift in the back end. It's just a hold. You're just in a holding pattern, you're doing exactly what the market is you're hoping praying that the market will go up so your property will go up but except when it goes up you sell you end up not being able to invest back into anything else because you haven't found the unique opportunity to be able to take that money double it triple it and so on and so forth so what is it that you need to do now my name is Helen Tarrant I help everyday Australia become wealthy through commercial property helping them invest in commercial property with confidence and security and one of the key things that I do if I have to say my magic powers is that I help people well scale. I help them take a little bit and scale up in the space of three, five, and seven years. So none of this 10, 15 years waiting for the market to change, you know, buying one every year, waiting 10 or 15 years, and then selling it and then living off some meager two or 3% returns. No, I'm talking about cash flow. I'm talking about growth. I'm talking about uplift. Now, I want to address these three fundamental concepts for you in this video because these are the fundamental concepts that I work with with my clients to help them scale. Now, while I might be using commercial property, you can be using residential, you can be using shares, you can be investing in business. All of these can help you wealth scale. It is actually a concept that the market hasn't come across because it is a concept that most people don't think about. We think about scaling businesses. We think about going the next level with our lives and personal lives, but no one thinks about scaling their wealth, right? And it's very, very individual for individual people because for you, you might be scaling to two, three hundred thousand dollars in passive income. Someone who's only twenty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year might only want to replace their fifty k. But the most important thing is the fundamentals are the same, and I'm going to cover that in this video. If this video is of interest to you and you really enjoy it, make sure you click the link below and book in for. A free strategy session where we can personalize the journey of commercial property and wealth creation for you. On another note, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get notified of my upcoming videos. Now let's get started. What exactly is wealth scaling and how do you actually get to the next level? Now there's three fundamental things that make a portfolio work. Cash flow. Cash flow is your foundation. Growth and uplift. You might find your portfolio is not working because it's missing one of those three key items, right? So if you have a property that just happened to be suburbia on 600 square meters, it's got a three by two or a four by two there, you're really just relying on the market. Look, you can do a few things. You can do an extension, you can renovate, you can uplift the value, and you can add a granny flat at the back. But how much is that gonna give you? Then some people chase cash flow and they go and invest in NDIS properties. Now, NDIS NDIS properties are great, but you're buying at a higher rate, you're paying a higher management fees, and yes, you're getting cash flow for a limited amount of time, and then when that scheme expires, your property actually drops back in value. So if you calculate over 10 years, you're actually not gaining as much. So for a majority of you who are looking at high cash flow, you're looking then perhaps at rooming houses. Yes, rooming houses are great. You're getting massive amount of cash flow. They're very, very hard to finance, refinance, and also it takes a lot of effort for you to manage and also get a consistent consistently filled as well, right? So there is downsides to every one of these strategies. The key to it is actually combining all of those strategies. So we looked at residential, now let's look at commercial. In commercial, cash flow is king. It is the system that is built on cash flow rather than growth. Now residential is a growth play. It's a growth game, right? Commercial is a cash flow game before it becomes a growth game. So where your portfolio is failing, if you look at it in real life, you can see that it's either not giving you enough cash flow. So your cash flow staff and it's coming out of your own pockets to support the property itself to keep it growing. Because if you don't support it, it falls away. It doesn't have the growth. You have wasted your time. You have wasted all of that money and energy and you failed in that project, right? Now you might be chasing cash flow, at which point you spend an inordinate amount of money. So let's say you bought the house for 500K, then you spend 100K to get a granny flat at the back. You're hoping to clear some additional cash flow. But you might find at the end of the day, by the time you deal with both tenants, all the outgoings, everything else, you might clear a couple
couple of hundred dollars a week. Now that isn't going to lead you to retirement. What you actually need when it comes to cash flow is 500, a thousand, $2,000 a week passive income rather than $200 a week. That can be wiped away by sending out a plumber or someone to fix a life fitting, right? That's not what you need. You need solid, solid income. And this is where commercial property comes in. And again, if this is of interest to you, please click the link below. Join one of our communities. Join the largest community of commercial property investors in Australia on how to invest in commercial property or book in for a street strategy session where we can personalize all of this for you. Now, and remember, the strategy session is obligation free. Now, when you are looking at cash flow, you're gonna realize that if you don't have growth and you don't have cash flow, the two can't interplay. Most people's portfolios are one sided, right? They're top heavy. They're top heavy with growth, top heavy with cash flow. Most people, when they invest in cash flow, go to regional areas. They go to regional areas because regional areas gives you cash flow, but it doesn't give you growth. So if you invested too heavily into regional areas, you're gonna to have to come up with the cash yourself to be able to invest. If you invest too heavily into growth, you're gonna to have to be supporting that property. Either or, it's a loss game if you don't play growth and cash flow together. So the mistake most people make is that they don't play cash flow and growth together. They don't play the game on each side together. So you play growth in the residential space, you play cash flow in the commercial space, combine together your cash flow and growth and it helps you move forward, right? Now, there is a kicker. Now, you see developers out there investing in what we call uplift properties or development. So they will typically take something that might be a vacant property as run down, not loved, refurbish it, put tenants in there, then create more value and sell it, right? It's a value creation process. Or you might do this in residential. You'll be very familiar in residential where you take a property, you refurbish a new bathroom, new kitchen, new flooring, air conditioning, painting, everything new, sell it back in the market, you make about a 20% gain. In the development space, that's exactly what they do. They take plain land, they add residential, or they add commercial, they add office spaces, they add retail, they create a hub, they bring the tenants in, now now they've created value and that's 20 to maybe 30 percent in the ultimate value and the money they get back but during that process when you're renovating think about it when you're renovating a property and you're creating that uplift yourself as in you're physically doing it or you're getting a builder engaging someone to do it there is no cash flow coming in there is no growth but at the end of it you get a chunk of money right so let's say you bought a property for you know 800k you renovated it everything you're in a mill you might sell at 1.2 1.3 mil you've made 200k 250k after some agent expenses you've made 20 to 25 percent but you're not going to get that until a year later or 18 months later or if you're in development maybe two or three years later you're not getting that until later on right so some point these three strategies all work really well independently but if you go top heavy into one or the other you end up toppling over because you don't have one or the other now for a sustainable portfolio and if we look and study how the wealthy has become wealthy or rich they've done it through having income so firstly business income or income so cash flow right secondly they've done it through having asset accumulation that grow in value and thirdly they've invested in projects that have uplift components right so those three things need to intersect right when you put those three rings together and here is a photo of it on the screen. You will see that I've coined the middle. It says financial freedom forever. FFF or F cubed, I call it financial freedom forever. Why is that called financial freedom forever? It is because you have to have cash flow, have to have growth, and have to have uplift in your portfolio. Now, if you want the real dissection of how that's achievable, that needs to be done for you on a personalized strategy session. So all you have to do, click the link below, booking for an obligation free strategy session where I can personalize this for you and it becomes an individualized journey and you understand how the three interact, right? Or if you're not ready yet and you wanna find out more about commercial property or about achieving financial freedom in a short space of time, join below one of the largest communities in Australia on commercial property investors. So do click below, but coming back to it, what you actually need in your portfolio to scale and grow is really one fundamental thing, right? It needs to have those three ingredients, cash flow, growth, and uplift. How does those three ingredients intersect, right? So what you need to do, and you don't go out there, this is the one thing you do not do. You do not go out there and try to find the unicorn, which has the uplift, the growth, and everything else. That is a bad, bad idea because you're gonna spend three years finding it. You've lost your growth, lost your cash flow, and you've lost your uplift. Don't do that, do not do that. So you need to build what I call the unicorn portfolio, which is why our company's called Unicorn, because we teach our clients how to invest in properties 
regardless of residential or commercial, but how they can invest in properties and build a portfolio that achieve the unicorn outcome, right? And so what you're looking for is cash flow to start with. So you need foundation because what cash flow does is it removes you out of the equation, right? You are no longer part of the equation if you have cash flow. So you've got servicing, right? The bank will lend you more money if you've got cash flow. So at the moment, if you have a lot of growth in your portfolio, you need to switch and transition to cash flow. Commercial property is the best way to do that, even in this high interest environment. You can go regional, still get your seven to eight percent yields, depending on what area and your risk profile to get that cash flow, right? So you can break even even on 100% finance and start getting some cash flow, right? But the most key thing is to build pipelines. We're not talking about just putting one property in there, putting one here and it's all works. We're talking about building a streamlined pipeline so that it turns on and money starts to come out. That's what you need. So you've got cash flow and that might be a couple of properties. So as you switch your growth properties into more cash flow, you've got a more balanced portfolio. But let's say you don't have growth. You still want to start with cash flow because cash flow starts to take you away from the equation. And yes, you would you pay more tax? Temporarily, you would until we put in the growth piece into your portfolio, right? So let's say you don't own anything. You want to start with cash flow. You put cash flow into your portfolio and that starts to give you a bit of a foundation. The next property you're going to do is you're going to do growth, right? You're going to focus on growth. If you're looking at commercial property, it's going to be Sydney, Melbourne, Gold Coast, maybe Sunshine Coast. There's going to be key areas in the ACT, some parts of Adelaide that's going to have growth. But it's going to be historic data, what's likely to be. We're going to look at rents, we look at markets, house gentrifying other tenants. There's a few things, there's about four to eight levers we got to look at to pull to be able to get you that growth, right? And you want to be able to get a growth that it, a property is going to grow in value somewhere between 20 to 40% in the next two, maybe two and a half years, maximum three, but two years is the aim. 20 to 40% within the two year period. And some areas have boomed and we've seen that in the Sunshine Coast in the last three years, doesn't mean it's going to happen in the next two years, right? So we need to look at different areas, right? So we're looking at that 20 to 40 percent boom in the next two years now that means that this cash flow you have and now the growth property you can then leverage right you can leverage right you can take the cash flow that you're producing the growth leverage off that have a new deposit and go again this is where we now put in uplift because you've got this cash flow coming in to be able to support an uplift property remember when you're doing an uplift property there is no safety net right it's all dependent on you there is no cash flow coming in so therefore what we're looking for is for your property to be able to support each other so you create the uplift and typically the best uplift that I've found that I'm currently doing with my clients is a vacant property in around different areas around Australia that could be retail or office or industrial right depending what area you're investing and what the research and demographics calls out for right you refurbish it you put a tenant in you get that instant uplift you can either sell to get a chunk deal and come back to having a cash flow and growth properties and continue to grow that or you could create the uplift pull out that equity and go again right that's how you go consistently that's how you move and go and buy two three five properties within a two-year period that really scales you up to the next level really create that pipeline so that you that can spit out cash when you're ready to retire because let's face it you don't need five grand today you'll be nice to have five grand today extra a year or 10 grand or even 50 grand but what you're really chasing for is 50 grand in passive income 100 grand 250 or 500 thousand in passive income in five seven years when you are ready to retire and this is one of the key things that unicorn is different in the market and when it comes to buyers agency we're not a buyers agent we are a wealth scaler we're a company that creates wealth for our clients through cash flow through growth through uplift so if you're interested in investing in property but commercial property and finding out how you can scale faster in your portfolio do reach out to us click below book in for the free strategy session click to join one of the largest communities in Australia of commercial property investors.